Hey, good morning guys. Tush coming at you. It's uh, Thursday, December the 14th and we're just coming up to uh, 12 noon. It's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, been out in the garage. And uh, it's pretty darn cold out here. It's about uh, 1 degree Celsius. So just hovering above uh, freezing. You can see your breath out here. Anyway, it's uh, pretty darn cold, but we're uh, now officially on uh, Christmas vacation until uh, the first week of January. So we anticipate on uh, being out in the garage pretty much uh, most days and working on this project and trying to get uh, caught up in a little bit of work. The project's been uh, languishing a little bit over the last few weeks as I've been uh, pretty busy uh, at work and uh, traveling. So. Oh. Hang on for a sec. Sorry. Hello? Hey! Hello, Ellen! It's Ellen Yakov. Yeah? No? No? No, I'm not dead. No, no, no. No, I'm not sitting on the couch either. Yeah, I, I know. T plus 90. Yeah, that's what you're saying. No, no, I know you've almost passed me on your uh, GT6 project, but... Uh, I'm going to try to catch up here in the next uh, couple of weeks and, uh, you know, at least stay on the same pace as you are on your DT6. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me get back to work, okay? I'm just in the middle of a video. I'll, I'll call you back. All right. Jeez. All right. So, as I was mentioning before I was... Uh, interrupted. Um, we're back out in the garage and we're working on the uh, TR250 project and uh, you might recall from the last video I posted uh, we were talking about uh, working on this flange here and I want to extend this flange up to meet the top of the fender. So the inner fender flange is way too short and if you call I showed you the uh, passenger side flange where it actually meets this top uh, saddle piece. You can see it just basically starts here even in the corner and pretty much follows the outer fender all the way across. It drops down by a few millimeters here and there but for the most part it follows the uh, top uh, of the fender pretty well nicely all the way down to the front of the fender. On this side however the uh, inner fender here starts probably almost a half an inch lower than the top of the uh, fender and for the length of this inner fender it sort of maintains that distance so you can actually visually see a lot and I mean a lot of the top of the fender above the inner fender so we want to make sure that we correct that so that's going to entail us welding a piece of metal all the way along the basically the distance of that inner fender all the way to the front. You see we did a bit of a repair here already in the front. This whole piece was missing here initially. Um, I guess we could have made that a little higher initially but uh, we're going to fix that now. This fender will pull down actually. It's got to uh, sort of pull down to its mounting uh, brackets on the front valence so it actually will pull down somewhat and it's actually fairly similar to what it is on the stock fender site on this side so it's not too far off at the front it is however awful along the middle section and at the beginning of the fender way up there so we're going to definitely fix that area on the car over the next uh, couple of days i am waiting to uh, get some metal crazy less is supposed to pick some up so hopefully i'll do that today or tomorrow at the latest I will have some repair areas to do here as well. You can see there's a hole here. So I think we're going to start in this area first and repair this little area. And then we'll move on uh, working on fixing that uh, flange piece. All right, guys, that's what we're up to. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention. I did uh, end up picking up some more uh, packages for uh, my project. And in one of the boxes is the repair fender section for the bottom of this front fender that's all rusted out down here. So. We'll unpack that and we'll have a look at that as well. Alright guys, here's a quick look at that uh, fender repair section. Um, I got it from the Roadster factory. 
Uh, it basically cost me 95 American dollars, which is about a thousand dollars Canadian. Um, looks okay. Um, I've held it, held it up uh, just really quickly, and as per usual, but usual with replacement panels, it's going to need some work. <clears throat> but uh, we'll have a better look at it at it once we get the uh, the front fender off the car. It looks like the uh, front flange here is not bent properly um, and we'll probably have to do some uh, remolding of that area. Anyway, we'll uh, have a look at it a little better detail once we get that uh, front fender off the car. Alright guys, I thought I'd start with that uh, front uh, fender repair section and I just wanted to show you where we're at. So, you remember I was telling you about it not fitting very well at the front here? You can see how the flanges differ. On the original fender, the flange bends out, where on the repair panel, the, fair, the uh, flange bends in. So what I'm going to try to do is just reform this flange and bend it back outwards to see if I can get it to fit or to overlay properly on this fender. I've got it sitting where it needs to sit towards the back of the fender. It needs to go back a little bit closer to the edge of the rear fender. And I want to get these holes to line up along the bottom for the mounting uh, locations. But uh, that's what it looks like. So. Obviously it looks like they want me to cut it here along the uh, top lip of the fender and then follow this sort of uh, curve here uh, and just trim it below here to be able to weld there. So I don't mind the, uh, you know, how they've got this uh, cut. We just got to make this front flange fit a little bit better before I'm comfortable about, you know, cutting the old rusty bit out and fitting this panel in. So we're going to work on fitting this flange first and then we'll come back. Okay, there's the uh, panel clamped into place, and we're just going to trace out now around the panel, and we're going to cut a little bit lower than where my black mark is, just in case. We can always trim it a little bit more. We only uh, don't want to overcut this, and then uh, have to add some metal into it. So uh, we'll trace that out, we'll cut that out, and we'll uh, tack it up. Well, here goes nothing. Hold my beer. Alright guys, uh, before we go too much further, I've just got the panel tacked in place in a few spots and I'm just doing a uh, bolt up and fit check 
to make sure that this flange is going to uh, work out okay on this fender before I weld it solid. It's not looking too bad. I want to make sure I get the angle correct so it tucks in nicely on that inner sill. So we're just doing, uh, like I said, some fit checks to make sure before we go ahead and weld this up solid. So that's what I'm up to. So it's looking not too bad. It looks like I need a little trimming here and there. But uh, that's not bad, I guess. It's probably about as good as it's going to get. Anyway, we'll uh, continue on. Just want to give you a quick uh, shot of what I'm doing. All right, guys, quick update for you. We've added a few more tacks along here. We've got it now fitted up fully. So we've got it bolted to the A-post. We've got the uh, three attachment points done up at the bottom of the uh, fender as well. I don't know if you can see those or not. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to solid weld this uh, slowly so as not to uh, warp this panel, although it's pretty solid right now. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. Anyway, so we'll finish welding this off, then we'll grind it up, and we will call this fender done. It's not too bad. It's about as best as I can get it here. It's a lot better than what it was. We'll probably end up doing a little bit of filler work just between these two joints. But uh, other than that, I think it looks uh, pretty good. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll start the welding process. Shall we try to do a little welding? Let's see. Might knock you over. Too lazy to start the compressor to get some uh, compressed air blowing on this. So I'm just going to take my time. Alright guys, that's uh, fully welded now. We're going to let it cool a little bit and uh, then we'll break out the grinder and uh, finish that off. In the meantime, I think I'm going to go and grab uh, some lunch. It's about uh, quarter to four. Alright guys, the uh, fender patch is now completely ground flush and I think it looks great. And I'm happy with that, so it looks a whole lot better than this. So, next step is to, uh, we'll play around refitting that fender again at some point, but uh, I think what we'll do while we have the fender off is we'll go back to this area here that we were talking about, and we'll fix this area. I'm sure it's going to be much bigger than what you see there once we expose this, uh, what's behind that. Uh, we'll take out this buffer cone and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, I managed to uh, dig that little bit of rust out and you can see I've got a little bit of a pinhole above it as well. The only problem is access in this area is very tight because of this uh, flange on the side. So I'm thinking that since I've got to replace this flange anyway, or repair this flange at least, I may as well go ahead and start doing that. And again, I'm thinking of removing it up to this area here 
You can see it's kind of uh, flaky up in here. So I thought about maybe just removing this whole flange to start with since we need to make a new one anyway that needs to come up to the edge of this. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and cut this out up to here at least and fix that area and then start repairing the flange. That's the plan anyway. Alright, just had a visit from uh, Crazy Les and he uh, dropped off the metal so that's good. We got a full sheet of uh, 18 gauge to work with which is great. Hopefully I won't have to use all of that but you never know. Um, anyway, we're back to uh, pondering about this uh, repair up here and I do have one issue. Uh, I've split this seam as you can see so it's actually two pieces of metal uh, joined together. Uh, supposed to be all the way down but I, like I said this I think this has butch been butchered before. So anyway uh, I've split it down to here and then that sort of seam disappears. I do want to replace this metal however the concern I have is actually cutting it too low because I want to be able to make a really nice clean weld and if I cut it low into this channel here I'm not going to be able to grind this very well and this is going to be extremely visible. Uh, when the uh, hood is open or the, the bonnet is open. Um, so I want to make sure that wherever, whatever I do, I'm able to grind these welds fairly smoothly. I want to make a good weld and then grind them smoothly so it's not obvious uh, in the engine bay when the hood is open. So um, I think what I'm going to do to start is I'm just going to cut this little section out here. I'm not so concerned about welds being visible in here because I'll probably put a little bit of seam sealer in here anyway at this seam. So you'll probably not be able to see those welds anyway. So that will at least allow me to get to repair this section and then I can figure out what I want to do with the rest. So that's what I'm thinking anyway. Like I said, just concerned about all that. Uh, you know, if I cut it too low, I won't be able to grind that weld line and it's going to look horrible, even worse than this. I mean, it's already been done here. You can see all the old weld here, which I don't like. I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit. I'm not sure how well I will be able to. I can't bondo this really because I'm concerned about when the fenders are bolted onto this flange, it's just going to crack the bondo anyway because there's going to be a lot of pressure at the uh, mounting locations for the uh, bolts to hold the fenders on. So my preference is not to put any bondo in here either. So there's my dilemma. I thought I'd just discuss it with you. So uh, anyway, what we're going to do is take a little chunk out of here and uh, fix this little area to begin with. So true to form as per this car, uh, I started out by making a uh, patch that was going to go, you know, basically there. And then I decided that... Uh, I was going to remove this bottom flange here and it looks like I've actually got an extra flange piece for some reason. I don't know if it's been repaired in the past. I've already taken one flange off the bottom so uh, I was going to do basically an L-shaped patch here. And I've still got remnants of another uh, flange here. So uh, that technically would be three stacks of metal here in this area. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to create a new flange over top of it and move it up to the top here and try to weld that in. So that's the plan. We'll uh, try to clean this up a little bit back in, in behind here. Uh, maybe weld a new little piece in here. Get a little bit of zinc primer in there before we uh, close that area up. Alright guys, we've made a little template to uh, fit in this location here. So we're uh, just about to uh, cut it out or mark it out on some metal and cut it out. So I uh, just thought I'd show you that quick template. We're going to do some uh, plug welds uh, on the bottom. So I've just marked some holes there to drill for the plug welds. So. Uh, Anyway, we'll bring you back once it's uh, welded in. Alright guys, we've got the face of the uh, flange uh, ground down pretty much already. I've just uh, completed the uh, plug welds here on the bottom piece. And I had to do a little bit of a weld here on the end where I cut that flange. So all uh, we've got to do now is uh, grind this down and that uh, area will be fixed. So we'll uh, wait for that to cool a little bit and then we'll go ahead and uh, grind that off and I think we'll uh, Call it a night. We're just coming up to uh, 8 o'clock. So uh, not a lot of progress, but at least progress. Alright guys, we've got that area all ground down now and I think it looks uh, not too bad. As mentioned, we'll put some seam sealer down in this area here. Because obviously this is where a lot of the water collects in the, uh, in the corner of the, uh, the bonnet. So we'll definitely run some uh, seam sealer here uh, when, we, uh, when we paint. To make sure we don't get any rust back underneath this, uh, this flange. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll upload this. It's not a lot of video uh, for today, but uh, at least we have some so you can see uh, where we're at on the project. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good night.